Well, I'm sure you're uh, still processing everything a little bit, but I guess what is the emotions right now, right? I mean, it's not a loss, but you also didn't get your title back tonight. So what are your feelings right now? Mm, it's kind of like um, crossing feelings. From one side, I'm uh, proud of myself because I fought. I fought the battle till, from the first second to the very end of the fight. I fought with all my heart, with all my soul. And from the other side, it's like frustration because um, <clears throat> I think um, three rounds I won. Two rounds, it maybe was her, but I feel that 10-8 in the fifth round, it's completely unfair. It was some illegal shots like knees in the first round. Unfortunately, it was like um, nothing to do with that, but I feel that um, it's not... It's against my like personal rules that stop and complain, right? It's kind of like I every time was feeling hard... Um, position situation, I try to find the way to succeed. And that's why I didn't stop. I broke my thumb in the first round and it's like fractured now. Um, I felt it's kind of like affecting my striking, but in the same time, I felt if I would stop, um, it's gonna be very frustrating for the whole fans who was um, this night because they was uh, waiting this fight, they want to see the fight, and if I stop in the fi first round and say I cannot continue, I felt like it's going to be um, again against my own person personal rules. That's why I continue. I continue fight with my whole heart. I think I did everything to secure the victory, and unfortunately, I think because uh, this event, it's like Mexican Independence Day, that's why it's affected the decision of the judge to get to give 10-8 in the fifth round. And for my uh, experience, 10-8, it's when one fighter completely cannot do nothing. It's like running around, waiting there, uh, like looking for escape from the octagon. It's like miserable. But in the fifth round, it was like four minutes or how many minutes stand up, and she didn't let one punch. And she only could take the back position on the, like, what it was last minute, minute and a half, I, I don't remember now. But even there, it was not damage. It was not too much damage to succeed this 10-8. That's why kind of like I, I'm saying it's double feeling. One side I'm proud of myself, and one side uh, i frustrating from the judge decision. It just to ask you to clarify on that on the Mexican Independence Day thing, are you saying that you think the judges factored that in, or do you mean because it was a pro-Mexican crowd, the volume was so loud, the cheering was so loud, that maybe the judge thinks it's more dominant than it really is? Uh, really, I don't know what it was, a um, big decision from that, but 10-8 is 10-8. And 10-8, it's kind of like um, not the, what it was in the fifth round. The knees, uh, how much did they affect you? You said you didn't want to stop and complain, or, I mean, how much... Did that moment concern you or affect you? Uh, it's kind of like affected because it was knees to the head. <laughs> it, it was not cut, uh, luckily for me, but uh, I was grounded opponent. I had my uh, finger <laughs> on, the, on the mat, and it's, this is what you cannot do uh, with a ground opponent. But it's kind of like, again, I'm saying it's not uh, my personal rules it's gonna go against it if i stop i say oh my god i cannot continue because i'm the warrior <laughs> i have to continue i have to find the way to succeed anything in there that she did you talk about the battles that you had to get through was there anything that she did that surprised you obviously you've got a, a lot of experience with her in very close fights at this point was there anything new tonight that you weren't expecting not this fight I expected it's going to be war, I expected it's going to be battle, and we went to the, uh, on a battle. We went like uh, like best flyweights in the world. We were there, and I think I did uh, enough to secure the victory, but because of this 10-8, it was a draw. Draw, it's not a loss, but in my case, it's not a victory. Last thing for me, I mean, obviously you've got to clear up your hand and all that, but I'm just curious, kind of, as you sit there, your motivation, is it like, we got to do this again because I got to get my belt back? Or is it like, well, maybe I'll go to 35, maybe there's other things out there. I mean, as you sit there right now, I know you can't say for sure, but what sounds most appealing to you? 
Um, first of all, I don't want to rush. I don't want to say something that um, tomorrow I will change my mind. First of all, I want to see how long it's going to heal because this is the most important. If I, uh, my next fight, when it's going to happen, I want to perform the best way what I can. I gonna, I don't want to like perform a 50%. I want to, I want to do 100. That's why right now, um, I don't know what it's going to be next. Uh, who is gonna be next? But I am here, and this per this performance tonight, I show that uh, I have much more forward to go. This is th this is kind of like no stop, no uh, less power. What I have, no less motivation. It's kind of like no matter uh, how old I am, I am feeling great, and um, I'm happy that martial arts. It's my lifestyle. I happy that martial arts is the way what I am living my life. And I want to do that before I feel this motivation. And hopefully I'm going to feel that for a long time. Valentina, just on the knees, do you think Alexa knew they were illegal? Do you think just in the heat of the fight she just threw them and it was up to the referee to say, hey, you're fouling right now? Uh, right now, it's very hard for me to say. I have to rewatch that. I have to exactly see the moment. But I remember my fingers was on the um, mats. I remember that it was on the floor, and I was kind of like, um, and that time, I, uh, and that minute in the fight, I. Um, didn't think to stop. I didn't think, but I was kind of like uh, looking to the referee and waiting to I act something. But he said to continue, and I continue. <laughs> when you found out that the fifth round was scored a 10-8 by one judge, what was your immediate reaction? Because it's, th it's one thing for them to say, oh, there was a round that's 10 eights, But to know it was the fifth round, which I think not many people in here was, would say that's a 10 eight. What was your reaction to that? Um, I couldn't believe that it's happening, that fifth round it's 10-8. It was surprising for me, very surprising. Valentina over here. You mentioned your frustration with that 10-8 given to Lex in the fifth, and we all know judges are subject to criticism often in this game. From a fighter's perspective, is there something you'd like to see change in the way judging works with these fights? Mm, I feel that um, to give a 10-8, you have to be very sure that is it is 10-8. And, but it was not our case. It's kind of like was not even close to 10-8. And yeah, I, I hope it's gonna change, but I know many fighters go through the same frustration uh, when it's kind of like that way, but you cannot do nothing. The official decision, it's official decision. As I mentioned, it's a draw. It's not a loss. But in my case, it's not a victory. And you also stated the crowd affecting that result, maybe that 10-8. If the trilogy is next and it were up to you, where would you want that fight to take place and under which circumstances? Um, I'm the fighter who um, never choose opponents, never choose place, <laughs> never choose the moment. I just go there and I prepare myself for the full battle. This is what I was, uh, the way what I was growing up, because um, I feel this is my character. This is uh, representing me as a fighter, because I don't want to be the picky one, like, oh my God, I don't like this, I will do that, I don't go there. I just like do what I love. I love to fight, I love to perform, I, I love to um, get ready for the fight. And although the energy was not for you necessarily, did you did you enjoy seeing all those fans come out and support both of you guys? Uh, yes, definitely. It was every time the fans they are supporting like fighters. It's something that's very motivational, and uh, definitely. But um, I can say in this fight, I didn't feel um, like I mean already in the fight. I didn't I didn't um, hear the crowd, how they like was cheering uh, my opponent or what, because I was so focusing on winning. I was so focusing to go there and get my belt back. That's why I kind of like was feeling, um, I have a block. I have a block from the whole crowds and it uh, didn't affect me uh, anyhow. Thank you. Valentina, one question. Uh, you've been do obviously dominant for so long. When you went out to the cage this time, emotionally as the challenger, how did it feel different, if at all, to your previous fights? Um, first of all, it felt um, 
amazing <laughs> because I go there for a battle. I go there for a war and I went there. And um, for me, um, like champion, challenger, inside of the octagon, you do the same. You fight the same. And if you are not fight fighting the same, like no matter what um, corner you are, what color of corner you are, it's kind of like... Um, I cannot say that it's like pure like feeling of the fighter, but uh, I every time perform the best what I can, can, no matter if I am champion or if I am a challenger. Thank you. Valentina, how did you feel about the fourth round and what was going through your mind heading into the fifth round? Um, no time to stop. This is the last five minutes and I have to do everything. I don't have right to like feel that I stop for a little bit. I just like um, not continue to move, not continue to strike. And this is what I felt. It's like five minutes more and I have to go till the end. Valentina, in español, rápido. Um Pensaste tú que ganaste la pelea como, como tú tenías la pelea juzgada? Uh, my question is just for uh, Valentina, very quickly. Do you think you won the fight? How did you how did you judge the fight? Uh, I do. Uh, uh, sí, yo creo que gané. Gané la pelea con uh, resultado 3 a 2. Esto es, sería lo más justo. Y como yo dije que um, 10-8 en el quinto round es totalmente algo que uh, imposible. En esta pelea, en este round, en quinto round, no es uh, um, 10-8 a 8 que uh, tiene que ser, uh, el, tener el lugar ahí. I think I, it was a 3-2. That, that's what I feel would be the most fair result. Um, as I said, this uh, a 10 in the, in the fifth round, a 10-8 in and of itself, and a 10-8 in the fifth round, it's impossible. I just don't think that that's place for that. El eh, juez que juzgó ese, ese round 10-8 fue Mike Bell. ¿Crees que él necesita dar una explicación o explicar por qué juzgó un 18? Muchas personas están también confundidos acerca yeah. de, de ese puntaje. ¿Crees que él debe una respuesta al público? And Mike Bell actually had a 10-8, that's his name, that's who, who, uh, who scored a 10-8. Do you think that he needs to come out and publicly explain what happened because a lot of people are confused? Uh, me gustaría que uh, primero eh, 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 explica, sí, yo creo que esto sería más justo porque no es uh, uh, algo que nosotros peleadores, nosotros uh, uh, peleamos y todo el mundo lo ve, ¿cierto? Y se, uh, como se siente, uh, como se dice, um, es abierto todo. Pero cuando jueces dan uh, su puntaje, es como algo cerrado. Sí, y nosotros nadie no sabemos por qué, por qué. Y esto sí, yo cre uh, creo que sería um, algo justo primero y um, sí, me gustaría escucharlo. Um, yeah, it would be really nice to see because actually we as fighters, I mean, we we fight, we fight, and all of you see it is an open to the public thing. You, it's there for, for for everybody to see. Now, as far as the scoring. That uh, they score and you don't, you know, the criteria. You don't see it. It's not. It's, it's a private thing. So I, yeah, I would. I would actually like that to to happen. Uh, some sort of explanation. Quieres una trilogía con Alexa? Eso es lo que quieres. Eh, después de este resultado, buscas eso. And do you want a trilogy with Alexa after this result? Is that what you're looking for? Uh, como yo dijo, uh, yo soy peleadora que siempre va a ir adelante. No me importa qué resultado es ahora, yo sé que hice todo para ganar la pelea. Pero por primero tengo que estar segura que mi uh, dedo fracturado va a um, curarse bien para que yo pueda um, hacer otra pelea en mi 100%. Y claro que sí, yo uh, como yo dije, estoy aquí por largo tiempo. Y uh, la pelea de hoy se mostró que tengo mucho más para adelante. Nadie no puede parar. Yo no voy, uh, no, no, no me siento algo menos fuerte, algo menos uh, motivada, algo menos que había mm, años, dos años atrás. Yo siento lo mismo hasta que uh, un poco más. Por eso yo digo que aquí estoy por largo tiempo y yo voy a pelear. 
As I said, I am a fighter. I'm a fighter that's keep moving on and moving forward. Yes, um, I just want to see how my fractured thumb is it. How long does it take to recover? I want to be 100% coming back. Uh, but I said I'm here for a long time. Um, I don't feel less strong, less motivated. I don't feel I don't feel less of anything. Quite the contrary, I actually feel even more so. And even I mean, in comparison, like a couple of years ago. Uh, uh, as I said, I want to be here for a long time, and, and, and I want to fight. That's what I want to do. Gracias. Valentina, ¿en algún punto de tu carrera te gustaría ser la estelar de un evento en UFC Perú? In any point of your career, would you like to actually be in an in a, um, uh, event of the UFC in Perú? Sí, claro que sí, me gustaría. Y uh, uh, también me gustaría mucho estar a uh, estelar en mi país uh, de Kirguistán también. Hay um, otro país, Tailandia, que me gustaría también estar estelar ahí. Uh, ojalá que uh, yo sí pueda tener un evento allá, porque uh, en Tailandia yo... Uh, uh, este campamento tenía en Tiger Muay Thai y puedo decir Muay Thai allá muy fuerte, um, MMA allá es muy fuerte estilo y todo el público quiere ver, entonces yo también quiero, uh, creo que es al, uh, uh, así puedo decir, tres países donde yo me gustaría estar estelar. I would actually love to be the main event in Peru and also in my home country of Kyrgyzstan and also in Thailand. I mean, as you know, my camp was in Tiger Muay Thai and uh, uh, MMA is really strong there. People really want to see it. So I actually have three countries that I would like to, to be a main event in. That's it. Valentina, uh, you did an interview before this fight and you kind of teased that you would have an announcement maybe after a win, and I'm curious, that was related to Bantamweight. If you would have won the fight, were you going to move back up to Bantamweight and try and get the belt there? Mm, you, you carry out, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, it would be like, uh, first of all, depends on the result, right? And right now, I feel it's kind of like, um, I cannot say um, what it's going to be right now, the next move, because of the uh, fracture. I have to make sure that it's kind of like taken care and it's kind of like healed. I don't want to... Um, someone to like wait on me for a long time because they kind of like also I feel the bantam baits they was um, like already how many like few months like waiting for the uh, title and to wait like six months more I think it's impossible it's unfair and the same like um, but uh, I'm still here and uh, whatever happened while I'm uh, healing I will be right on the top for the next one. Have, have the weight cuts gotten harder at all at flyweight for you? Just, you know, as time goes on, people say that the older you get, maybe weight cuts get a little bit harder. How has it been for you? Oh, my God, this time it was so easy. It was, uh, I think it's um, for the people who are saying it's getting harder, it's because they are getting lazier. And it's kind of like with the time, with the, um, like, life, uh, lifestyle it's getting like oh my god i maybe i w won't do diet for like months or two and do easy cut like for the last in the last week but it's um discipline that you have to follow no matter what and i feel if you have this discipline it's no matter how old are you older or younger it's gonna be the same easy and I think the discipline is the rule number one. Thanks, Valentina. Valentina, um, gracias por una tremenda pelea, uh, una guerra clásica que vamos a ver miles de veces y que vive por, o sea, por años cuando la gente le estudia y vea el combate al nivel más alto. Eh, en tu pelea vimos algo nuevo que te pudieron conectar y te vimos en la luna. ¿Cómo pudiste recuperarte y qué fue el tipo de plática con tu equipo entre los rounds para poder concentrarte? Uh, thank you for a tremendous fight. It's also it's always a pleasure to see you in a, in such a high level and actually uh, giving us that, that spectacle. Uh, we, tonight in the fight, we saw something new. We saw you. You know, you you were knocked down, and um, we wanted to know what what happened for you to recover. What was the process of recovering? What was said uh, between rounds that that led you to actually have such a recovery from what happened? Mm. Por primero, en el uh entre asaltos, lo que me estaba diciendo mi entrenador y mi equipo 
es uh, ir adelante, no, a pesar de que cualquier cosa, ir, ir adelante. No me sentía, uh, sí, tal vez fue algo de golpe, algo así, pero no, se me, no me sentía perdida, no me sentía algo que no puedo seguir, y eso es lo más importante, mi cabeza es dura. Entonces no, no se puede um, hacer algo con, uh, así que me separa. Entonces um, yo seguía. La re recuperación fue um, algo simple, porque uh, mi meta principal y en la cabeza que yo tenía es seguir. No, uh, a pesar de cualquier cosa, seguir, seguir y seguir. Um, the basically the, the, um, in between rounds the 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 the, the instruction was to push, push forward just keep on moving forward regardless of what was happening um, as far as the recovery is concerned is concerned it, it wasn't a problem for me because my goal my personal goal is to keep going uh, hey uh, yeah I didn't feel lost at any time um, in any moment I have a hard head I mean they <laughs> shake your head it doesn't matter I mean I felt uh, I did I didn't feel lost or or the The strike itself, it didn't, it didn't have the effect. Uh, my mind was to keep pushing forward, keep going, regardless. Y finalmente para mí, lo que era una guerra, algo tremendo por 25 minutos, muchas gracias. ¿Cómo se siente estar en otra pelea que nos va a dejar una bonita memoria? Obviamente tus fans te van a seguir apoyando y siguiendo, pero como lo ves en las redes sociales, están hablando. Todo esto, controversia no, de todas maneras, todos estamos de acuerdo fue una gran pelea y cómo se siente eso de agregar eso a tu legado. And as I said again, it, it, this was a this is a great fight. Is it was a classic war. Um, and again, thank you for it. Um, how does it feel to actually be in another amazing fight, one that all the fans? I mean, if you go on the internet, uh, regardless of the decision or anything that happened, they keep supporting you and they keep saying this was an amazing fight. So another fight for your legacy. Um, al final eso es lo que más importa es um, claro que sí me gustaría um, estar esta noche con ustedes con un cinturón pero um, lo más importante para mí que uh, dejé mi corazón en la lona y que uh, todos fanados podían disfrutar la pelea entonces um, esta pelea se queda en la historia en la historia y me gusta, y me encanta ser la parte de historia. Um, at the end of the day, that's what matters the most. Of course, I would like to be here with you, with uh, belt in front of me. But um, it, the most important thing is giving this memory to people. Um, it, it, it was it was a fight that people will remember. Uh, I left everything. I left my heart in the octagon. And um, this would, it matters a lot, is actually being a part of history. It's a great a historic fight uh, that people will remember. Gracias. Viva Valentina. Gracias. Valentina, acá atrás. Sí. Eh, preguntarte acerca de, pues, ¿qué es lo que rescatas de tu pelea el día de hoy, de tu actuación? Y también, eh, ahí mismo en la pregunta, que, eh, ¿cómo te sentiste con la afición mexicana que se hizo presente? Obviamente, eh, te tocó estar del otro lado. I have two questions for you. One of them: What, what can you, what can, what do you recall about the fight, about about your your performance tonight? And also, uh, second question: What did you feel about the Mexican crowd tonight? It's such a special night. Um, um, por primero, um, me sentí muy fuerte. Me sentí uh, teniendo excelente training camp, uh, como dije en Tailandia, en Tiger Muay Thai con uh, todos uh, training partners que tenía uh, muy buenos, excelentes, que estaban así empujándome siempre hasta mis límites. Por eso yo sentía muy fresca esta pelea y así eh, como sin parar, ir adelante y adelante. Uh, sí, claro, uh, me esperaba que uh, la gente va a apoyar a la mexicana y es algo normal. <laughs> Yo esperaría de mi uh, pueblo lo mismo, pero como dije, um, cuando estuve allá adentro del octágono, me bloqueé de todo, entonces um, no, no entró. Este todo que el público quería apoyar o algo así, no, no entró hacia mí. Y esto que también creo que apoyó para que uh, se quede con cabeza fría y peleo uh, lo que tenía que pelear. Um, 
I felt very, I felt, first of all, I felt strong. I felt, I felt really strong. As I said, I had a, an amazing camp at Tiger my, my Thai, in Thailand. I had training partners, excellent training partners that kept pushing me to my limit. That's why it allowed me to be so fresh, and that's how fresh I felt during the fight. Um, as far as um, the crowd, I expected it. That's what I expected them to be like that. I expect that's normal. I would expect that to happen if it was my people. Um, but as I said, uh, when that happened, everything that was happening outside the octagon, I blocked that out. That did never, that didn't let me in. That, that, that didn't, that, I didn't let that in. That didn't, they never got inside. Um, and that allowed me to actually keep a cool head all throughout. Thank you.